Hi everybody, this is Christy and Tani coming to you today to share with you um, some information that we are excited to talk to you about. We are um, wanting to share our favorite newer game that we haven't played a lot yet. Um, so Tani, do you want to tell us about this game? Um, the name of this game is called Cash Flow. Okay, I'm going to and... turn it around and <laughs> come down here. Yeah. It's called Cash Flow for Kids, and it's in a way like Monopoly, but a bit different. It's <laughs> you, you explain it a little bit. <laughs> okay, um, so we've got all these pieces. It's a little more complicated um, of a game than usual. Um, there's a spinner. Um, those are like the bottom pieces to the cards. Uh, there's all these different pieces that you can pull and each of the cards has a story on the back. And so, um, it can either, either be a positive card or it could be a not so positive card. So there could be an expense that could come up, an unexpected expense, um, those sort of things that, um, you just kind of play your cards just like Monopoly but it's a little bit more specific and goes more into detail about um, about how money actually works instead of the more vague concepts that are on uh, that are on Monopoly. And so here's all these like money pieces that are showing how much money you have, and then you get to collect passive income in the game, which is really neat because that's an important concept that we need to learn. Um, so expense card, asset card, sunshine card, and then this is our board where we move around. And so this is, and everybody gets one of these boards. So this is kind of like a place or no, that's the main card. And then these are the placemats under here. So kind of, and I call them placemats. Everybody gets their own kind of, um, big card that they get to play with as their own page. And so you want to collect your assets and your liabilities. And then this is where you're collecting all your expenses every month and your passive income and then your salary from your job. So it's a really neat game. Teaches you kind of the basic um, income statement and expense spreadsheet for um, kind of an adult. And, and most of adults don't even do this and we should. And so our hope is that in our next video, we will play this game. And this game is listed if I can find it, for children ages six and up. And we started playing this game when Tani's brother was five, Tani? Yeah, five. And so how was the game? Was it um, hard? Was it easy? It was a bit of both. Like, it can go from really easy, and then it can just dive. What like do you mean without, dive? Like, so where if you have a bunch of, like, sunshine cards and they have a bunch of good things and you're getting a bunch of money uh -huh. and then you get an expense uh -huh. and something happens you can just lose yeah. a bunch of it but you don't you most of the time you would not lose all of it right yeah and and you can you can lose everything and you can completely like bottom out and it shows that things can happen and that um there's reasons why we want to do everything we can to be as financially intelligent as possible and as prepared as possible so that those things don't happen. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to kind of try to set up and play a game later for you on another video and we'll share that with you. But this was just kind of a quick review so that we could show you what the game is like. So anyway, before we go, Tawny is going to do her thing. And who are you going to share with us today, Tawny? Um, his name is Ian. Ian. He is a double tail betta fish. I don't know if he'll come over here right now. Oh, there he is. Oh, it's crazy. Lighting is really bad right Hang now. Hang on, I'm going to turn it around. Oh, there he is. Can you tell us about Ian? Ian is a double tail betta fish that is like, I think he's about a year, a little bit, little bit under a year old. Mm. What's in his, in his tank with him? Um, we had set up a branch with a, um, plant that I bought, a uh -huh. water plant. I think it's a vermilion. Vermilion. And I stuck it in a ostrich shell. Where in the world did you get an ostrich shell? Sorry, I'm moving. I'm 
in Tawny's lair. <laughs> um, I got that from a friend <laughs> a while ago. That's so cool. And you've got the plant just in that shell. Mm -hmm. What a creative idea. Is it safe to have all those things in with a betta fish? Yeah. Yeah, the betta fish is totally safe with that. They're all, they're like all clean and clear for the fish. There's also the um, water conditioner that exists. He seems room. very active and happy. Yeah. Awesome. Anything else you want to share with us about Ian before we go? <laughs> Well, he's really pretty. I take a lot of photos of him. You do? <laughs> Sometimes. Oh, I wonder if you're willing to share some photos for everybody under the description in the comment section of the um, of the video. Are you willing to do that? Yeah. Okay. This is fun. And, um, he's like I sitting know, on the bottom. He, yeah, he likes going down there. Um, I think he's wanting food. Looking at his food. <laughs> uh, time to eat. Alrighty. Well, thank you, Tawny, and thank you, Ian, for visiting us today. And thank you, everybody. We will talk to you hopefully tomorrow. While oh, hi, Ian. Hi, Ian. <laughs> Thanks for coming back and saying goodbye to us. You're so beautiful. Um, and we'll see you guys hopefully tomorrow for our um, our live. Maybe we'll go live tomorrow. Um, I think what we might do is go live on Facebook. You can find us on Facebook at Ta or Christy and Tawny um, if you search that in your Facebook search bar. Um, and we can go live on Facebook and then we'll record also on YouTube if we can, you know, figure out the tech end of it. But I just wanted to see if I can get some good focus on Ian in here. Ooh, hi, Ian. Fancy fish. All right. We'll talk to you guys soon.